Ever since we realized that Earth might not be the only place where life thrives, we've been relentlessly pursuing evidence of extraterrestrial life. The consequence of this urgency has been the creation of advanced equipment such as the Perseverance rover on Mars, the Hubble Space Telescope, and of course, the jewel in the crown, the James Webb Space Telescope. Since its launch, the James Webb has embarked on a constant mission to explore outer space in all directions and search for any clues that suggest the existence of life beyond our planet. From tracking biosignatures to gazing at the farthest cluster of galaxies ever seen, the James Webb is relentlessly discovering the new. In its infancy, the Webb Telescope has recently revealed that rocky alien worlds likely harbor copious amounts of water even before they formed. Now let me explain why this is of great relevance, and what implications it has for the continued search for extraterrestrial life. As we all know, water is an essential source to support life on Earth. Scientists apply a similar logic to search for life in the universe. This has triggered the search for exoplanets that are in the habitable zone and contain a certain amount of water. However, many scientists continue to debate how the water could have reached the Earth's surface. Based on previous research, it is believed that Earth received much of its water from water-carrying asteroids that bombarded the surface of our planet during its formation. Now, scientists have uncovered evidence suggesting that water must have been one of the components available at birth that came together to form a rocky planet. Researchers have recently focused on a young star, PDS-70, which lies nearly 370 light-years from Earth and is about 5.4 million years old compared to about 4.6 billion years for our own star, the Sun. Using the infrared instrument on the James Webb, scientists have discovered water in the form of hot steam at about 625 degrees Fahrenheit near the center of the disk of gas and dust that surrounds the star PDS-70. The study's lead author and astrophysicist, Julia Perrot, said this discovery demonstrates that water is present in the inner disk of this iconic system, where Earth-like planets could be forming. This finding is significant since, in our solar system, this central zone is where several rocky planets, including Earth, formed. By observing it, we can trace how the planets in our solar system formed and what their chemical composition was before their full formation. The new findings suggest that any rocky planets that form in the central zone of PDS-70 would contain a substantial amount of water and could eventually become habitable. As for how the water got to PDS-70, the researchers raised two possibilities. One explanation suggests that the water present in PDS-70 could have come from a water-rich nebula that formed the star. Another possibility is that the outer edges of PDS-70 could have been penetrated by oxygen and hydrogen gas, which then combined to form water vapor. If you think that this is an isolated case where James Webb has hinted at the possibility of extraterrestrial life, you are completely wrong. Let me take you through one of the most fascinating recent incidents. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have discovered evidence of complex organic molecules similar to smoke or soot in a distant galaxy. This is the oldest known sample of complex organic molecules in the universe found by humans. What it has accomplished is that it has advanced the previous record for detections like this by around a billion years. I don't know about you. But it's both fascinating and terrifying to me that these discoveries at the edges of the universe are changing the foundations of our cosmology. This is a powerful discovery, and here is what changes. First things first, these chemicals have been detected within an early galaxy that formed when the universe was about 10% of its current age. Carbon-based molecules, technically known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are found in oil and cold deposits on Earth, as well as in smoke. But what is the significance of this finding? Justin Spiker, the lead astronomer on the study, makes it clear that the molecules we found are not simple things like water or carbon dioxide. We are talking about large, flexible molecules with dozens or hundreds of atoms in them. 
Isn't it amazing that the universe can create really big and complex molecules very quickly after the Big Bang, when our models suggest they couldn't? Given the great distance from the galaxy, the light that astronomers detected began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. The universe is currently about 13.8 billion years old. We are looking at the beginning of the formation of the universe as we see it today. But here's the kicker. It's thanks to the James Webb Telescope that we've been able to detect these complex organic molecules, advancing the previous record for detections like this by an extra billion years or so. Imagine if we could look even further back in time. Is it possible that we might find more of these molecules? And that too very close to the Big Bang? Where does that leave our science, our cosmological model? What is especially intriguing is the contrast between previous efforts to identify complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies and the new level of detail that the James Webb Space Telescope is providing. In the past, scientists could determine in a general way whether or not these substances were present in these distant galaxies. However, with the resolving power of James Webb, we are witnessing a remarkable advance as we are now able to delve into the intricate details of the exact location of these molecules within a galaxy, turning our attention to an early galaxy designated DSFG 850.95 an additional mystery arises. We cannot ignore that the distribution of these complex organic molecules in this galaxy is not homogeneous, but presents peculiar patterns. The reasons behind this variability still require further explanation and analysis by scientists. This complexity adds a new level of questions about the chemical and physical processes that influence the formation and distribution of these molecules in the early stages of the universe. This discovery not only opens up new insights into galaxy formation in the early stages of the cosmos, but also raises exciting questions about the abundance of life essential materials in such remote environments. What was once considered a period of relatively little activity in terms of galaxy formation now appears as a turning point where galaxies were already taking shape and content. It is even more surprising that this early galaxy, despite its youth in cosmological terms, already exhibits comparable magnitude and richness in elements such as carbon and oxygen compared to our own much older Milky Way. The relationship between its mass and the formation of chemical elements is intriguing testimony to the evolutionary processes and fundamental forces at work in the early universe. As humanity continues its exploration of the unknown, backed by growing knowledge and an unwavering desire to understand the cosmos, we find ourselves inevitably humbled by the vastness and complexity of the universe. With each step forward, our understanding sharpens and we get a little closer to unlocking the secrets that are carefully hidden among the stars. The wonder of how the James Webb Space Telescope is playing its part leads us to firmly believe that the universe is about to reveal itself in a new light, in a perpetual dance of discovery and wonder. Now I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this fascinating scientific breakthrough. 